yo what is going on everybody so welcome back to a brand new video on the channel so in today's video we're gonna be talking about the 76ers should consider dan burke to be the head coach now before we get started in today's video if you guys are new to the channel make sure you hit the like button tell me rank on my youtube and for the algorithm to help me push my new videos also hit the subscribe button with notification bell on so you guys will be instantly notified when i upload a new video multiple videos couple gaming streams or occasional live streams also, get in the comment section down below. Uh, let me know what you guys think about what I have to say about Dan Burke. Also, you can check all of my social media and the Spotlight Sports Network social media, which is linked down below in the description. Also, our, all of our merchandise on the Spotlight Sports for the Spotlight Sports Network, even the, here on the Philly Sports Talk podcast channel as well, all of merchandise is 22% off until January 4th. So do not miss out on that, out on that deal. Also, a huge shout out to the people at Spotlight Sports Network for partnering with me. Let's keep this partnership going. Also, you guys can check out my podcast series, Sports Talk Podcast, with Robert and Tyler every Wednesday night after evening at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll put the link to the playlist down below. And you can check out my baseball podcast, Between the Lines Podcast, every Friday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll put the link to the playlist down below as well. So with that being said, let's jump right into it. So, you will, Sixers fans... And you know, and just basketball fans in general, as you probably read the titles, I you know, why should the Sixers consider Dan Burke to be the next head coach? Well, maybe be the head coach. I mean, here's the thing. He's already the acting head coach because Doc Rivers is, is in uh health and safety protocols, um, which I think it'll take about ten days. So he's gonna you know coach a few games because obviously Thursday, uh December thirtieth, um uh, Dan Berg, who was the, who's the Sixers assistant coach under Doc Rivers, uh, got notched his first win against the, the top Brooklyn Nets, uh, which was K KD's return to the Nets. Um, and to be honest, even though, look, I don't know, I, look, I get it as a one game sample size, but I do think this, the team looks play is look like they played pretty well with, you know, the right adjustments, the right rotations. Um, I just kind of feel like where, I think Doc Rivers needs to, is probably I, if I'm it, well. And here's the thing: I think Dan Burke should get considered to be in the next head. Be, he would make an excellent head coach. I'm not, I'm not. I'm going to put it plain and simple. Obviously, like I said, it is a one game sample size. Like if he can give me like, or how many other games he might manage before or coach before Doc Rivers comes back from protocol, um, then I can give you more, uh, or I can see what how my um, basically just how, how, like, basically, do you, th um, basically if, you know, Doc Rivers is, is jo jobs in jeopardy, which to be honest for me, I'll probably going to give him one more year, but if it doesn't work out, I think the Sixers should go some like Dan Burke, who for some, and it looked like the players kind of understood Dan Burke a little bit and how the right, cause Dan Burke, obviously he was a long time assistant with the Indiana Pacers for a while. Um, let the Pacers to come to us. And it's obviously what he knew, what he taught and what he learned at, from the Pacers and, you know, kind of bring it to Philly and it showed like how even against the, the Nets who had both KD and James Harden in that lineup, um, obviously Kyrie for different reasons. Um, Kevin, because with those, I mean, despite having those two guys only with 33 points, but, and look, I get there's still decent players in their thirties, but, that's here, here nor there, but Dan Burke, obviously first time, you know, being the acting head coach, I thought did a pretty good job, you know, in other words, PC, you know, um, basically, you know, what rotation, like he looked at, said, okay, what rotation should I do? And, you know, how do I want to go about, you know, doing, you know, when it comes to the bench, obviously with Doc Rivers, we all know he goes with, he wants to try the all bench lineup and uh, mostly that does not work. But with Dan Burke, he kind of like he kind of like, like add some pe like kind of flip pieces here and there, you know, from the from the floor to the bench, you know, throughout the entire game, try to keep try to keep guys fresh as much as they, as he possibly could. But all in all, not just his first win against Brooklyn. Um, definitely going. He's definitely going to be the acting. He's going to be coaching tonight against the Houston Rockets. So, um, but with that being said, what do you guys think about uh, Dan Burke being the acting head coach so far, despite being a one game sample size? No, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. But with that being said, this is Robert from the Philly Sports.